Five Ways to Friday, one item, style five different ways. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, 50, 60, 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. And today it is about fashion because it is my series called Five Ways to Friday. If you are new here, welcome. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. This topic came up because as a personal stylist, which I specialize in style for the mature woman, because I am a mature woman. I tell them, don't invest in anything unless you can style it at least three different ways. Well, I go just a step further. I go shopping in my closet and I bring you five outfit inspirations. So with one, the one item. So what are we talking about today? We are talking, you saw it on the thumbnail, I know. I did, was it last week? Maybe the weekend, I did an unboxing of a new pair of shoes. Yes, these are the Steve Madden. I believe it's Ellison, but they are the Chanel inspired. They do not have the logo on them, but they are the classic cap toe shoe and a flat. Now, I did a video on the heels, and I will link that video down below. But these are a genuine leather cap toe flat these are for all seasons it well it depends where you live <laughs> let me rephrase that i live in texas so for the most part it's an all season these are beautifully made and the leather on them is very very soft um i love the little bow on them as well too and it's got a nice padded footbed now these are on their website i will link them down below um i just thought that these would just be a great classic look because i am my style is classic now i do like to edge it up a little bit here and there but for the most part it is classic so we're going to put some classic outfits together with this shoe today a flat two-tone classic shoe so there is going to be a few outfits, and I'll go ahead and show you some of the jewelry so that I don't have to. And some of them, I am wearing this two-tone chain necklace, which is very on trend right now. I also am wearing, sorry if I'm blinking, the, in some of the outfits. This is a ring that I absolutely love. See if I can put it on here for you. It is actually a two-tone because the silver coin in it, it's a big Italian B coin, and, and then it's trimmed in the gold. And so this is another two-tone piece that I am wearing in this. And then, I should have put those closer, sorry. I have got on uh, just some, my little, uh, these are the CZ silver earrings that, um, are from Roma designer jewelry and then this is a very very old gold necklace and then this is a necklace that I recently bought from Roma designer that is my um, my zodiac which is cancer and so this is in the gold tone and I just layered it because layering it is still extremely trendy right now so and I put it with which is what I'm wearing right now is a rust color v-neck sweater which I just think if you mimic your um, your necklace shape to your neckline it's such a classic look and then I am wearing a my put it up here this is my nord green watch uh, with the black dial gold bezel and the brown leather watch band i have different watch bands to go with it and i have different faces that i can also change up to get any look that i need so basically i have a watch wardrobe with my nord green watches and then this is an old i thrifted this years ago it's a brighton two-tone see if I can hold it up here two-tone bracelet and it's just a um, a bangle 
So I put the two-tone on here to mix the gold and the silver. Of course, I have my gold, white gold jewelry on. And then in some of them also, I have got not the watch, but I've got just another gold bangle on here. So bangles are still very on trend as well, too. So that, that was the jewelry. And then I have also used in this the handbag i pulled out one handbag which is my classic little top handle satchel it does have a shoulder strap but this is the teddy blake ava and i call it taupe it's called gold but um it's just the perfect little classic handbag top handled handbags are very on trend this year and then i have mixed i've got i've pulled out a couple of different little scarves to mix in with the outfits so, for the first outfit, we'll get started right now. Pulling out the Ever Classic white button-down shirt. And this is actually by Philosophy. Then, Old Navy high-waisted straight slim jeans that I have cuffed up just once. Actually, no, twice. Twice, I'm sorry. For the first outfit as you can see here very classic you know it's just an everyday look and very well put together look as well too so for the next outfit what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of black pants now these are cropped with a bit of a flare just a little bit of a flare and you'll see that in the picture now all black outfit with these shoes are just I mean it's I'm sorry can you beat it you can't so the top that I put with it is a faux leather sleeveless top now what I liked about this and as you can see here I'll turn you it kind of mixes the textures and the shades of black can you see that in here? I thought that made it just a little bit more interesting. But, you know, I love a good monochromatic look as well, too. So that was outfit number two. Outfit number three. We are going to bring out a very old, it's almost vintage. <laughs> this is a, from Talbot's years and years ago. It is just a relaxed kind of turtleneck it's a cotton knit blend sleeveless top but i'm pairing it with a silk animal print skirt now um is it silk let me see it may be i think it may be just satin i'm sorry i may have misspoke i think it's it, because it's from express so i believe it's probably let's see If I could read, it's a polyester, so it's a satin, satin. So, but it is. Now you have heard already, if you're staying up with the fashion trends and everything, that animal print is not on trend as much as it was. Animal print is still considered a neutral and a classic. Now, the thing with it is you can still wear it in small doses. What is not on trend is the big bold in your face animal print all over. So using it in one piece in your garment is still acceptable and classic, but just not head to toe animal print. So, and not mixing it as well too. But a belt is certainly considered a neutral, a shoe, that's got animal print on it with no other animal print on, the rest of the outfit is still a good complimentary neutral to wear. So that was outfit number three, okay? So number four is something I thought, well, here in Texas, we're getting to some springtime weather off and on. Here we kind of go up and down. So what I pulled out was a white t-shirt. Now, this is not just any t-shirt. This is actually a Mazamo Duty, which if you've heard that brand, it's very popular over in Europe. And the fabric on it is really nice. It is not a Walmart t-shirt. So make no bones about that. So um, this is, 
trying to see if it's got the content on it. Um, I believe it's a silk blend. That's what it feels like. But it just hangs beautifully. It launders beautifully. You know, your basics, as in t-shirts, if you spend the money for them, they look, you know, and get some nicer ones, they will look like it. Um, the t-shirts I've seen at Walmart look like Walmart t-shirts. So um, you can always take it up a notch if you're willing to invest a little bit more in your basics. But what I put just this plain white t-shirt with was a long pencil, a black pencil skirt. Now what you couldn't see in, in there is that there is a, a very nice kick pleat in the back of it, but it comes, you know, it depends. I'm only five foot two, so if you were, say, five foot four, this would come up a little bit higher, but for me, it is a cropped midi, or excuse me, a crop maxi. It's a midi skirt, but it's a crop maxi on me, but still showing it off with the shoes makes it a perfect complimentary. Then I just had some of the jewelry and then of course the bag and then a colorful little scarf with it, which made for a lovely, classic, comfortable, warm summer or warm spring day outfit. Last outfit is, we're gonna go monochromatic again. We're going to go with a pair of black pants and I actually, have them own right now <laughs> but you'll be able because i'm i'm getting ready to go to lunch with my daughter so i'm already dressed for that so you can see in the picture here that i've got the black knit pants on and then a black knit sweater that's kind of like a boat neck classic cut and then i topped it with a khaki color trench coat how classic with these shoes can you get I, i'm you know it's just uh it's such a wonderful look and very, very uh, mature, but very, you know, I see women, you know, uh, bloggers and models, even in their younger, younger ages, wearing outfits like this. It's a timeless outfit. And that's what I'm all about these days is timeless. It's not that I'm trying to stop the clock, but I'm just trying to stay in style and on trend, because that's what it is. But you know, you're still supposed to have fun with fashion. So I'm gonna leave you here with this. I'd love to hear what your favorite outfit is. And I will leave the links to anything and everything I can find down below, including these beautiful shoes. And yes, they are affiliate links because I do make a little bit a commission, couple of pennies on there if you do buy something off of my links and anything that you do is appreciated because it helps me keep my, my uh, my channel going. So I'm going to get out of here. Remember ladies what I tell you? I tell you every single day to get up and show up because you're worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day.